respected yet? Does this defense have any heart? That's no. They suck. I've been telling you all season, they Philly. shit on you. Oh. They shit on you. <laughs> Don't you hear me, Jordan Davis, <sighs> Jalen Carter? It's like, they shit on you. Oh. They shit on you. <laughs> they have shit on you. Don't. Don't you hear me, Jordan Davis, <laughs> Jalen Carter? It's like, they shit on you. Kill them. Oh, my goodness. Did he say they, they cock it on them? I hate the style of defense. I What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great, great day. And um, it is finally freaking Friday. Tomorrow is Saturday. We'll have our live stream tonight at 9 o'clock Eastern. And we'll also have our other live stream, of course, tomorrow. Members can call in if you are a channel member. You'll be able to have the link in the community tab. Join in, be part of the conversation, because this week, this game is absolutely positively huge. Dak Prescott, Dak Prescott, who was NFL Man of the Year right now, leading one of the leading candidates for being, oh my goodness, I, I can't even believe it, MVP. Here's how crazy that whole notion is before I get to the subject. Beginning of the season, believe it or not, Dak Prescott's odds of making uh, NFL MVP were the same as Justin Fields. Believe it or not, that is a fact. I guess they figured, well, Justin uh, Fields is not going to get MVP, and there's no way in the world that Dak Prescott is because he's a turnover machine. But somehow, some way, Dak Prescott has always been a survivor. And Dak Prescott, uh, through his charities and things, is doing, of course, stand-up to cancer. Unfortunately, he lost his mother to colon or rectal cancer, and he has been an advocate of it. And I have personal experience myself dealing with that situation. Dak Prescott, I believe, just shit on the Eagles. Uh, you have to see this ad. This is Dak Prescott teaming up with Ryan Reynolds to uh, just watch it. Just watch. As a professional quarterback, I get a lot of shit. Indecisiveness in the red zone. Most overrated quarterback. You got more turnovers than a bank sale! <laughs> and I get it. When you're not a fan of something, shitting on it can make you feel good. But what if I told you that now it can do some good too? Let me show you how. First, if you're 45 or older, talk to your doctor about getting screened for colon cancer. Then, if you're prescribed a home screening kit like this, grab the sample collection container and place a sticker of something you want to shit on right on the underside. Not a fan of marine life? Slap it on. Have issues with old-timey prospectors? Boom. It works with anything from colors to large American predatory birds. Then, follow the instructions on collecting and shipping your sample. Here we go! And in about two weeks, we you'll go. have the results. It's that easy to get screened for colon cancer and make your feelings abundantly clear. So talk to your doctor today. Home screening kits like Colagard are for people 45 or older of average risk, not for high-risk people like Dak. Dak actually wouldn't use a home test kit, but he's so committed to preventing people from getting colon cancer that he agreed to star in this video we wrote for him without any concern for his safety. I definitely deserve that. Visit leadfrombehind.org to get more information and some stickers we made. Wow. Wow. So, in words of Philly 500... Disrespected yet? Does this defense have any heart? No. They suck. I've been telling you all season, Philly. They shit on you. Oh. They shit on you. <laughs> Don't you hear me, Jordan Davis, <laughs> Caleb Carter? It's like, they shit on you. They have shit on you. <laughs> they have shit on you. Don't don't you hear me, Jordan Davis, <laughs> Caleb Carter? It's like, they shit on you. Kill them. Oh, my goodness. Did he say they, they cock it on them? I hate the style of defense. I yeah, Dak Prescott definitely shit on the Eagles. Um, that was an incredible. Uh, okay, come on. Now, you have to admit, even Eagle fans, you have to admit that that is one of those ones that it's funny. It'll get your attention, and hopefully you'll actually listen to it. Because I, I'm going to tell a little story here myself. Um, 
my brother, one of my brothers. I've lost actually one of my brothers to uh, lung cancer that just spread like wildfire in a couple of months. My another one of my brothers had, um, as he told the story, he had seen a guy that he worked with that he hadn't seen in a while, and he had lost a bunch of weight. And he said, "Man." I don't know what diet you're on, but I'd like to get on that because I need to lose some weight. And he said, bro, you don't want this diet. He said, I had colon cancer. And he said, you know, I've lost all that weight because of everything I've been going through on it. And he said, if you have not been screened, you know, at 50, and I think the age has actually changed, get screened, get checked. And at the time, I think my brother was about 54 years old and he got screened that week. And it turned out he had some polyps that were actually really large and some of them that were beginning to grow, I believe, on his liver and had surgery to remove them. The thing is, with colon erectile cancer, there are no signs of it until it's too late. It's very preventable if it's caught early. I myself didn't get screened at 50. I believe I was 52 when I went in. And had I not gone in at 52, I had eight polyps, three of which were two centimeters long. And once they get beyond two centimeters, they usually start becoming cancerous. So had I not been screened at 52, and because I am a high risk, I have to get screened every year. um, I wouldn't be here laughing at the eagles being shit on. So if you're 50 or whatever age they're recommending now, because I think they're looking at it sooner than later, Please, by all means, get checked. Colon cancer is no joke. Shitting on the Eagles? Well, that's kind of funny. Definitely kind of funny. I don't know how you Eagle fans feel about it, but hey, (laughs) it's Dallas Eagles week. And uh, shout out to Dak Prescott, who definitely is uh, throwing shit on the wall. (laughs) so to speak, and seeing what sticks. And Eagle fans, I'm curious to see how you're going to take that. And uh, I'm betting it's not going to be good. I'm Mark Holmes, and well, I can't wait till Sunday night to get this game on. Um, It's always a lot of fun when the Cowboys play the Eagles. Peace. Disrespected yet? Does this defense have any heart? No. They suck. I've been telling you all season, Philly. Shit on you. They've shit on you. <laughs> Don't you hear me, Jordan Davis, <laughs> Caleb Carter? It's like, they shit on you. They've shit on you. <laughs> they have shit on you. Don't don't you hear me, Jordan Davis, <laughs> Caleb Carter? It's like, they shit on you. Kill them. Oh, my goodness. Did he say they, they cock it on them? I hate the style of defense. I- <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Trey, he literally shit on the Eagles. <laughs> you have to see it. He teamed up with Ryan Reynolds. And with Ryan Reynolds, basically, oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. This is hilarious. You have to see this. You have to 